Number eight. Someone paying $120,000 for a banana duct taped to a wall is the perfect manifestation of extravagantly wasteful spending. Banana art has become a thing and people are paying thousands of dollars for a banana, which is just, well, nuts. Banana nuts, stupid. This banana sold for over $100,000 at the Art Basel Festival in Miami. And this banana art is becoming more and more popular. Artists carve into the peels and create some pretty impressive designs. People with too much money to spend will pay big bucks to get their hands on these soon to be spoiled pieces. Number seven, when it comes to expensive pizza, no menu item currently tops the Louis 13th from Italian master pizza maker, Renato Viola. This man is very upfront with his elitism. On his website, he says the pizza was, quote, designed for a select few, end quote. It's made with expertly prepared dough, imported lobster from Norway, three types of caviar, prawns, and pink salt hand-picked from the Murray River in Australia. The cheese is organic and naturally of the highest quality. The entire pizza is eight inches wide and designed to feed a total of one person. It's paired with Remy Martin's Louis XIII cognac and two luxury champagnes. But wait! That's not all. Included in the $12,000 price tag is that three expert chefs will fly to your home from Italy to prepare the pizza on site for a full in-home dining experience. Number six. Have you ever looked at a watermelon and thought to yourself it needed a rebrand? Don't worry, you're not alone. Japanese graphic designer Tomoyuki Ono has decided to square the rounded watermelon by creating a cubed version. The new design is intended to be more practical since it can fit in fridges more easily and it doesn't roll around when you're trying to slice it up. This angled watermelon cost up to five times more than the regular shaped fruit and the juice isn't really worth the financial squeeze. Even though it's technically food, cubed watermelons are purely ornamental. To maintain their distinctive shape, they have to be harvested before they're ripe, which makes them basically inedible. Number five. This next one is personally a bit triggering. I live in LA and one of the best things about this city is that you can find delicious tacos on the cheap everywhere. But the Gran Vila Los Cabos tacos are so expensive that you'll have to decide between them or a year's worth of rent. At 25 grand per pair, these tacos are the most expensive food item of their kind. They're available in the resort's renowned Frida restaurant and are made of luxury ingredients. The soft corn tortilla is packed with Kobe beef, almas caviar, and black truffle brie cheese. As with all menu items conceived for the ultra-rich, the entire creation is adorned with 24 karat gold flakes. But I guarantee you that the taco truck on La Brea in Venice has way tastier tacos. Does the Grand Vila have this meat tower you're looking at here? And check out these little circles of heaven, each one about $2. Number four, Iberian ham is another example of a fancy meat fit for royal teeth. It's made in Spain and Portugal and comes from free range black Iberian pigs that in the last year of their lives only eat acorns. This is what gives the meat a distinct earthiness. The meat's finer taste and texture is also the result of the pigs getting plenty of exercise by walking or running around the oak groves. The meat goes through a salting process for a few weeks and then is cured for up to three years. The Guinness Book of World Records once listed this supreme quality swine as the most expensive commercially available leg of ham. It only cost about four grand. Number three. Only grown and sold in Japan's Ishikawa region, Ruby Roman grapes are guaranteed to give your wallet a body slam. Each grape from the Ruby Roman variety is about the size of a ping pong ball. For a bunch of these grapes to be declared premium, the bunch has to adhere to strict guidelines regarding both weight and sweetness. 
When they first hit the markets in 2008, a bunch was purchased by a local businessman at $26 per grape. In 2016, a bunch was sold for $8,400. I can safely say that I'll never pay that much for grapes, and that's nothing to whine about. Number two, a French chef once called truffles, quote, the diamond of the kitchen, end quote. White truffles are ounce for ounce among the most expensive food items that money can buy. This fabulous fungus will typically send you back a few thousand dollars per pound. They're mainly found in certain parts of Italy. These truffles are often sniffed out by specially trained dogs. These food items are so precious that their distribution has even attracted some sinister characters and has given rise to a booming black market. The largest white truffle on record was found in 2014, and it weighed an estimated 63 ounces. It was auctioned off at Sotheby's in New York and ultimately sold to a Taiwanese businessman for $61,250. This successful bid was actually a bit surprising since the initial offers were in the $1 million ballpark. Still, it's not too shabby for one piece of fungus. Number one. Most types of caviar carry a pretty hefty price tag, but Almus is in a league of its own. It's produced from the eggs of an extremely rare albino sturgeon that's between 60 and 100 years old. The fish only swims in the southern Caspian Sea near Iran. 2.3 pounds of this caviar is typically sold for about 25 grand, which is about as much as an average car. Purity is of paramount concern, so the caviar tends to reach the market without any processing or additions whatsoever. Like with most beluga caviar, it's usually served by itself or on a piece of toast. 